What's happening everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo. And today we have sneak peek one. And this sneak peek really threw, I think, everybody for a giant loop. This was completely out of left field, but I gotta tell y'all, I am very, very excited about this. So greetings agents, this is CM Fragment of Marvel Future Fight. There is news that Stark Industries is introducing a new product in San Francisco that uses his technology and capital to improve the world. This global upgrade comes along with a new suit made of silver liquid and is attracting great interest. The superior look. So let's watch this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mmm. Definitely looks familiar. And look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Not bad. Now, some of you are probably wondering what some of those things mean. The Extremist 3.0. Well, this is Superior Iron Man. And this is a character that was drawn up and wrote up after the events of Avengers vs. X-Men. Uh, actually, actually, after the events of Axis is really what it was. This is a bad version of Iron Man. He's not a hero. He's actually... Uh, quite the villain. He's actually quite a piece of crap in all honesty. And so you can imagine that we're probably going to be getting a new villain uniform for Iron Man. Now I know some people are going to feel some kind of way about that. You know, maybe they don't want Iron Man to be a villain, but personally, I'm okay with it. I'm completely okay with him being a villain. I mean, in all reality, he could become the new Blast Villain meta. And that would be freaking cool. And even if he isn't the Blast Villain meta, if he's really good against the New World bosses like, for, like Null and Mephisto, that would be amazing because this guy absolutely needs it and deserves it. Iron Man is easily one of the most recognized characters in all of comics, especially due to the MCU. But the cool thing about this guy is after the events of Axis, which is a comic book run, Scarlet and Doctor Strange actually made a spell that inverted everyone's personalities. And it actually brought out, like, say you were a good guy, it brought out the bad guy and the other people. If you were a bad guy, it made you into a good guy, more or less. And Iron Man, since he was, you know, pretty much a good guy, it actually turned him into a piece of crap. And when everyone reverted back to normal, he actually shielded himself from it. And he just kept those same personality traits. He stayed a villain in the superior iron man story and he actually creates this uniform that's actually based off the symbiote so you know it can kind of move around all over him it can change shapes it can do all kinds of crazy crap it's an extremely powerful suit the extremist 3.0 you see a little telephone and it's, it's an app is what it is and this is how crazy and how terrible iron man is in this story he actually freaking, <laughs> this app actually can make people into beautiful people. So what he did was he put out like a little trial run and everybody got to be beautiful for a day. But then after that day runs out, they have to pay $99 or pretty much $100 a day in order to stay beautiful every single day. That's how whack out he is. He is making money off of these people's addictions and you can imagine you know if you were out of shape if you didn't feel you were beautiful or attractive and you could pay money just to be you know beautiful to be attractive that's a pretty big incentive for people to spend some money so iron man he's a real piece of crap in this story but he's also super powerful also in this story run he ends up taking on all of his and spoiler alert taking on all of the Iron Man suits all at once. I'm not going to get into the rest of the story, but it's pretty cool, guys. You really should check out the Superior Iron Man story. It's actually pretty cool on Comics Explained. And what could they do for him? Well, there's actually a lot they could do for him. Uh, Iron Man really needs some super armor. Against Null and Mephisto, I mean, he's already Tier 3. He needs super armor. He does get, you know, 5 seconds of invincibility on his Tier 3 but it's only five seconds super armor is just not enough he really should have some kind of invincibility on his skills where he doesn't uh which really blows right because every time you're using him and you're attacking null 
uh, he can just get knocked back, and it really throws out his rotation. Also, he gets a heal on the fourth skill, but it comes at the very end of the skill. And sometimes whenever you do this skill and you run all the way through the fourth skill, you can actually take a lot of damage during it. And Iron Man's HP pool really isn't the greatest. You know, 38,000 HP isn't really that high, so it can actually die pretty easy. So it's nice to see a heal that actually takes effect the moment you hit the skill. And of course, I just want to see some buffs. I want to see some freaking attack buffs. I want to see some crit rate buffs because right now, Iron Man doesn't have any of those. I mean, he doesn't have anything. He's got the increased damage out of super villains by 30%, which I kind of hope they keep that. I mean, he does have the create shield. We'll see if they do something like that. But the Endosim suit, that's what it's actually called, the Superior Iron Man suit, is freaking ridiculously powerful. It is OP. Now, you can cancel Iron Man skills pretty quickly, but he just doesn't do as much damage as you would like. And there's a reason why I got Rescue here, Old Pepper here. Pepper's actually in the Superior Iron Man story. And again, this is a bit of a spoiler, but there's a moment in the story where she shows up in a new suit. And... What this means to me is, you know, since this update is based on the Superior Iron Man story, and this could change, they could add other things in here. This would be nothing new for Netmarble. They tend to sometimes mix different comic book runs all together in an update. But so far, we know that the Superior Iron Man suit is coming. We're probably going to get some characters. We're probably going to get some things based off of that run. And Pepper actually does get a uniform in that run. And she does take on Iron Man because, he's, like I said, he's a piece of crap. And what I'm thinking is, he's already got a tier 3, right? Well, Pepper here, she could actually get an Awakened skill, which would be pretty cool. It's very possible that they could give Rescue a new uniform and make her Awakened skill. Now, if that's the case, that would kind of suck because this is a paywall character. Unfortunately, that's kind of a bad thing about this. So only the people that have her are going to be able to awaken her if they do that. I mean, I have no idea. I'm just purely speculating. And my Iron Man, I mean, he really is built really well. He's got a CTP of Rage. He's got a fully awakened Power of Angry Hawk set. I mean, all the skills are at six. I mean, he's got Odin's Blessings on him. I got one, two, three, four, five, five Odin's Blessings. I have like 96% energy attack. If you look at, let's go back up here. If you look at his Uru's, I mean, he has Mythic Energy Attack Urus on him. I mean, I got a lot of love in Iron Man. He has a Mythic Uniform. I mean, he's built up really, really well. But when you take him into World Boss, and I did a video about Iron Man a long time ago, and even without Pierce, an 83% Energy Attack, I was able to do a clear with Iron Man. But once you start getting some Pierce, I mean, you're just going to start using a lot of other characters. You're going to start using characters like well, you should always be using these characters. Moonstone, Sharon Rogers, Null, Odin, Cable. I mean, those are the top tier characters for Null, right? And and I keep focusing on Null because I think more people are really trying to play Null than Mephisto currently. And also, I think a lot more people are really trying to get this mighty CTP of energy rather than the mighty CTP of regeneration. Although I could be wrong, but still these characters are still extremely powerful against Mephisto also. And Iron Man, you know, even with a max team like this, he just doesn't do that good. You know, we have the 30% ignore dodge here. And then we got two ignore dodge strikers, which is giving us a total of 70% ignore dodge. And when I take him in here to do a fight. He just won't do as good as what you'd like. So, you know, you'd hit that third skill, get that 30% increase to damage to super villain. There we go. Boom. I mean, he could do some damage. Oh, crap. Whoa. I mean, the one beautiful thing about Iron Man is he has a lot of really good movement speed, which actually makes him pretty good for, Mist for Mephisto in that respect. And boom. But he really does lack as far as his damage. And in all honesty... A bit of his survivability. And you see how much damage he'll take here. Pretty good amount, right? So we'll hit that 3, 4. We're going to hit the tier 3. And then we're going to hit the 5th skill. And this is the way it works out really well with him. 
is whenever you hit the awakened skill or awakened skill, you hit the tier three because then you get that invincibility and then do the fifth skill during it. And you can, I mean, you can do some decent damage, but you can see that we are running quite short. So I want to hit that third skill, hit the tier three, and then the fifth skill. Really, he's doing a little bit better than I actually thought he was going to do, to be perfectly honest. But really, by 3 minutes and 30 seconds, you really want to be able... You really want to have this phase beat. And it's just not looking like it's going to happen. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The tier 3. And then the fifth skill. Yeah, I mean, look at this. We are running low, and we're trying to get down to 32 bars. And another beautiful thing about this is, you know, we always get a new uniform, right? And they got to make it a pretty strong uniform. And the thing that I like about it is, like, for all the players, free to play and alike, everybody's going to be able to enjoy this. Now, if Pepper does end up getting an awakened skill, right, that will... You know, suck for some players because they won't be able to use her. And boom. Oh my god, look at this. And we're, we're about ready to croak. And we made it through the first phase. And that took 2 minutes and 30 seconds roundabout. That is a long time. Now I realize this is stage 9, but this is a max team. And really on my account with about 96% energy attack and 4% pierce, you would like to see Iron Man at least be able to do stage 9 with this kind of team. I mean, it honestly, it wasn't really as bad as what you would think. I thought he was actually going to do worse, but it still isn't even close to good enough. I mean, that was a minute slower than what you would really like him to do. So if they give this guy some attack buffs, they give him some invincibility, because invincibility really is a big deal. Uh, against Null and Mephisto, in all honesty, something that I would love to see is a debuff. The Endosim armor is extremely powerful, and it would be so cool to see something like what Null, ha Null has here, or Black Bolt, where you have the remove all debuff, and that would be very massive uh, for Iron Man, because one, it would increase his survivability, but it would also, you know, it would kind of simulate the fact that he's just a genius, right? And he knows how to avoid uh, certain attacks. You know, this would debuff those attacks. So, for example, when you're fighting Mephisto, Mephisto's slamming down, trying to hit you when he's the giant monster and stunning you. If this debuff applied, you wouldn't get stunned. And that's something that would be really, really great for Iron Man. I think that would be awesome on top of all the other things that you could debuff. So I am actually very, very excited about this update. I think it looks freaking fantastic so far. I mean, like I said, I know some people are going to feel some kind of way about Iron Man, you know, being a villain. He's going to be a bad guy. But in all honesty, guys, in the comic books, I mean, not the MCU, but in the comics, he was he's always, a lot of the times, he's always been kind of borderline. I mean, he was an alcoholic for a long time. Still a good guy, but, he, you know, he was really borderline. And... This was a pretty cool story because you actually got to see him, you know, you're seeing this genius become, you know, a, to a total villain. And he's pretty much just outsmarting everybody. And it's pretty cool to see Iron Man, you know, at his best or at his worst, depending on, you know, your perception of uh, him being a villain. But I think the Spirit Iron Man story is pretty cool. And I'm actually really happy that we're getting that uniform. And we'll see about rescue. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see if they, you know, maybe maybe they'll give her a new, maybe they'll bring in a new character. Maybe they, I mean, they could bring in a new character and just have a completely, you know, just Pepper Potts in a new uniform. It's possible. But I think they would capitalize on the fact that she is a paywall character. Just give her a uniform and then people, and if she's really awesome, right? And there's always that possibility that, you know, we might have some, you know, synergy uh, within the Iron Man suits, which would be pretty cool. You know, if Rescue did end up getting, or if we did end up getting a new character with a support passive that buffs up Iron Man. I mean, there's a lot of different routes they could go. So again, I'm really excited about this. Let me know how you're all feeling about this. And I stream on Twitch at Reset. 
Sunday through Thursday. The link will be in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.